there we go right good morning who has just joined us alison good morning okay right so what have we got today we've got tone up tuesday and today's session will be focusing on your core strength and it will then follow with um, some upper body work um, i try to mix it up so we'll be doing things that are going to benefit um, your arms and your shoulders and your back okay and then we're going to go back do all of the core exercises again and all of the um all of the upper body so we're just going to mix it up today so without further ado if you can come down onto the mat just make sure you can see me i think everything's set up so you can um we've got six uh, core exercises and we're going to try and do those for around about 40 seconds each um i'll give you low options as always who's joined someone else i can't see all right anyway right good so um take your position with your plank okay we're going to go straight into it now with this one i'm going to add some challenge it's called a plank with a dumbbell drag okay so you've got to hold your plank so come into your either half plank or full plank okay half plank or full plank take a nice wide position with your feet and you're going to pass that dumbbell underneath right whilst holding everything still okay off you go so i've started the clock what we're trying to do here is just add some challenge so key technique tips with the plank are that you're keeping still through the core you've got a nice straight line you're not dropping the hips and this is just adding adding a bit to it that you're taking that dumbbell bringing it through from the from the right to the left using your left hand and then from left to right using your right hand if that makes sense so right hand brings it over to the right left hand brings it over to the left the dumbbells kind of sitting underneath your chest okay lovely so come out of that one exercise two straight into it we're going to reverse crunch okay so you're on your back shoulders on the floor i want you to roll back rolling the hips and bum off the floor pushing the legs up towards the sky and then rolling back down so the feet are almost hitting the floor just slowly so that that movement where you're curling back down do that in a lovely controlled way so don't just let the momentum so none of this kind of just swinging like this it's quite a controlled movement okay and as you reach that top uppermost point try and use your core strength to push the soles of your feet up towards the sky five seconds four so three two one good that was the reverse crunch just slightly easier on your back than a, than a full-on crunch which i don't tend to do much of so now onto your side we're going to side plank pulse okay so i stagger my feet like this but you can if you want to take some pressure off just just bend that lower leg and you're just going to pulse up with your arm up in the air if you can dropping the hips and then raising the hips okay if you can stagger and do it with both legs straight then great that's going to make it harder but it may be if it's uncomfortable you need to just bend that lower leg good stuff so we're here for 40 seconds so we're working the abdominals. oh good last few seconds i'm not used to this one this one's finding this hard three two one and rest you guessed it other side now so turning over all right again stagger or don't stagger up to you bend or don't bend off you go you don't even need to pulse if you really just want to hold it there you can absolutely do that I always think pulsing just adds a bit of 
extra challenge to the move halfway so you're looking to get those hips up as high as you can so this is this is working those oblique muscles that are closest to the ground here lovely last few seconds bend that lower leg if you need to absolutely fine bend both legs even three two one and rest good exercise five of six sorry we've got seven not six right for this one sit with your knees nice and bent and hold the outsides of your ankles okay uh, curl your head and chest forward a little bit really try and scoop your core in and I'd like you to just roll your body back until your shoulders touch the ground don't want your head to touch the ground though so you're going to roll back and then roll forward okay roll like a ball it's called so keep that neck and chin just curled in engage core so you're only rolling back until your kind of shoulders top of your back hits and then you kind of come back forward again you need a spongy mat for this one my mat's too thin <laughs> it's kind of hurting my back a little bit just because i've not got enough padding on the ground three two one and rest roll like a ball over we go onto our onto our arms again okay and this time we're going to work the, the the obliques but in the plank position with the slow mountain climber so we do these a lot in the cardio this time what i'm trying to get you to do is to just really slow it down okay so our hands under shoulders and then you're bringing slowly bringing that knee across to the opposite elbow if this is really hard on your arms and you just can't manage that then i'll give you an option b which is heel reaches so really slow with the mountain climbers good you've got 20 seconds left if you're doing the heel reaches if you can see me here i've got my legs bent and i'm just reaching down with my palm down towards my right side and then I'll change halfway to my left side. Okay, so keep going with one of those two options. Slow mountain climbers or the heel reaches. Good. Okay, last few seconds. Three, two, one. Ooh. Excellent. Final one, we're gonna go onto our front now for Superman's. Okay, so we've done these lots before. Just a really good workout for lower back and glutes. Relax your head and arms and legs on the floor. And then you're just going to raise arms and legs up. Pause, and you can pull back as well if you like with the arms, just to bring the upper back into it. Extend the arms and then drop. But you don't have to do legs, and you could just do your upper body here. You just leave your legs on the mat if it's too much to to do both at the same time nice pause and then drop okay let's do three more do three more pause and drop keep your eyes down don't flex your neck back those supermans let's do one more and pull back and drop good stuff lovely okay take a just a 20 second quick breather uh, okay lovely so we're going to come on to some upper body now remember i said yesterday we weren't going to do any press ups i sort of lied if you've got the dumbbells position yourself with a dumbbell in each hand all right, on your knees, and this is what I'd like you to do. Press up, row, and row. Keeping your elbows and your arms close to your body. Press up, you see I'm pulling back, I'm working my back, pulling that weight up into the armpit, and back. I want you to do 10 of those. Press up, row, and row. You can absolutely do this from your toes. Press up, 
or you could do your press up from your knee and then you could come up into your plank for your rows. So you could do half and half. Do what works for you. Technique points, keep your eyes down on the floor. As you row, keep your arm nice and close into your body. Lead with your elbow. So press up, row and row. So that would be one rep. We're going to do 10. Keep your feet nice and wide so you've got that stability. What's up? What's wrong? Okay, good. So when you've done 10 of those, slightly lost count, come up to standing. If you have, if you have the dumbbells, then this is your exercise. You're going to lean forward. So we're going to just do slightly, something slightly different for the triceps. I'm bending at the elbow and I'm kicking back with that arm. Look, my arm is really tucked in to my side. And as I squeeze back, I'm really working that tricep. Now, if you don't have the dumbbells, you're going to go down on the mat and we're going to do the tricep push-ups. So narrow arms right narrow arms not like a press up not like a standard one and you're going to do 10 of those i know they're horrible if you're doing the kickbacks it's 10 each side okay so you just got you got your body kind of you're leaning forward nice stable base and everything's tucked in nice and neat why do we tuck in nice and neat because we want to isolate that muscle Okay, so 10 each side. All right, not, we're not flaring out here. We're not kind of bringing the shoulder into it. Everything's locked except that elbow. Okay. If that's not working for you or your weight's are too light, then go down and do the tricep push-ups. Okay, that was exercise two. Are you ready for this one? So dumbbells at the ready. We're going to do 10 front raises. 10 side raises, 10 forward punches, and 10 upward punches, okay? So 10, just out to the front, 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm counting, I probably shouldn't because I'll put you off. So when you've done 10 to the front, it's 10 to the side. When you've done 10 to the side, it's 10 little jabs to the front. I'll show you. Only shoulder height. This is killing me. I need my lighter weights. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And when you've done those, it's 10 up. One, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, eight. Good. Okay, down onto the mat for rows. We've got loads of time today. Might even do another two sets of everything. So down onto the mat with your band. Okay. Do you remember the rows we did? Okay, for your back. So you've got the mat, you've got the band around your bottom of your foot. All right, sit up nice and tall, 10 each side. Really, you really hit here with this one. I really want to feel you to feel that you're squeezing at the back of the move. Really squeeze, okay? Keep, again, a bit like with the um, triceps, keep your arm really tucked in. And that elbow is the, is, is the thing that leads, okay? Take your time with them, I'm rushing a bit, I shouldn't do. Especially on the, on the release. Big pull. And then once you've done 10, change sides and go from the other side. Let me just turn around so you've got me. Okay, really nice. It gets you right in these lats here. I've got a heavy band here. I imagine you, you do need something quite heavy. So when you've done those 10, we're going to get back round and go straight back into that core. Should be easier second time in some ways because you know what's coming, maybe. So dumbbell drag in plank, if you can, in three, two, one. 
off you go. So nice and stable, left arm takes it to the left, right arm takes it to the right. You can absolutely do this from your, whoop, sorry. You can absolutely do this from your knees or your toes. If it's too much, just ditch the dumbbell. You don't have to use it. It's an option. So dumbbells underneath your chest. One side to the other, 10 seconds to go. Check your form, check where that plank, where that bum is. It's not creeping up. Three, two, one. Excellent, over we go for reverse crunches. So remember this one, we're not using momentum, we're doing it in a controlled way. So you're curling up, arms are relaxed, and then you're lowering so the feet almost touch the ground. And then back up, really focusing on the abdominal muscles, creating the power and the drive as you drive those feet up to the sky. The more controlled you can do this in every stage of the movement, the better. Good stuff. Oh, 10 to go. Good stuff. Keep it going. Last few, three, two, one. Excellent. That was reverse crunch. Went to the side planks, both sides. Okay, off you go. So feet staggered. You go, go extreme, you can do this sort of business. Raising that top leg. Actually, my legs are really tired. I'm not gonna do that today. Did a turbo earlier, which was slightly easier. Now we've invested in a fan, which we should have done weeks ago. <laughs> okay, last few seconds. You're feeling it down here near the mat. You should be. Three, two, one, and change side. It's quite army as well, that one, isn't it? <laughs> okay, off you go. Other side. 40 seconds. Don't have to have the arm up at all. You can reach under and extend. That's another nice one. Maybe we'll save that for next time. Just stick with the pulsing. Halfway. Good stuff. Come on, keep it going. Last few seconds now. Keep driving in three, two, one. Excellent. Into your ball. Roll like a ball. So, hands around ankles, scoop your core in, tuck your chin in, and off you go. Roll back. Don't let your head touch the floor. Just your shoulders. Again, try to keep the movement controlled. Sticky that movement going back is really, it's, you can really feel the abs working on that one. Halfway. I say keep gripping those ankles, keep the chin tucked in. Three, two, one. Lovely. Okay, over you go for slow mountain climbers. Remember, hands under shoulders, okay, and off you go. Really exaggerate how slow you're doing this one. So knee up towards, as far as it will go, up towards the opposite elbow. If that's toughy for you, remember the heel reaches, support your neck, pulse down with your palm down towards the ankle, towards the heel of one side okay and i'll tell you to change sides just about now if you're doing those slow mountain climbers keep going essentially we're hitting the oblique muscles this is all just variations on a theme of the plank isn't it okay in three two one excellent so final one is a superman 
So extend your arms out in front of you, relax onto the ground and raise arms and legs, squeeze, pull back, squeeze the glutes, keep the eyes down, hold, extend the arms back out and relax. So glutes are working, lower back's working here. Make sure you do pause before you relax back down. Lovely, keep it going. Probably just this last one now, make it a good one. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent, okay, back we go. Back for those arms. Excellent, we've got loads of time. Okay, so remember with the arms, it was the press up. Where's my other dumbbell gone? Very mad, that's over here. Press up to row. Okay, press up to row. So 10 repetitions in total. All right, so grip those hand weights, press up, row, row. Press up, row, row. Keep those arms close, tucked in. So this is a great multitasker. Core, arms, shoulders, and back. Ten repetitions in total. If you're not, if you haven't got the dumbbells, you're just doing press ups. Do a few extra. So when you've done 10 of those, we're back into those tricep kickbacks or tricep press ups. If you don't have the dumbbells or the kickbacks don't quite work for you, then do the narrow handed press ups. They are a killer. <laughs> are we ready? Okay, so you're bending at the elbow and curling forward. I guess you get a bit of bicep in here as well. Come on, let's do 15. Let's do 15 each side. We've got time. So 15 one side, 15 the other. If you're doing those uh, press ups, 15 of those as well. I think this is good if it ta takes the pressure off your wrists if you don't love doing loads of stuff on your wrists. 15. Good stuff. And then we'll quickly go through to the shoulder work. Okay, so we've got 10. 10 to the front, 10 to the side, 10 front, 10 up. Okay, off you go. So nice solid core all throughout this. This kills me. I'm not, I'm not very good with heavy weights, upper body strength. We'll try to relax your shoulders. I know that's hard. It's the temptation is to hunch them. Try not to. Oof. Okay, and then you've got the 10 punches. And then 10 up to the sky. Excellent. Let's go back. Shall we just hit that core for one more set? What do you think? When you've done those, when everyone's done those, let's hit that core. Okay, you probably remember them now. Oh, sorry, we've missed, it. We've missed uh, the banded. So seated, banded, row, 10 each side. 
nice and straight, elbow, arm really close to your body, should be rubbing against your torso as you pull back. I'm going to try it, I'm going to go, I'm going to go black. Woo! Let's see. Oh my word. <sighs> always check the weight you're using, is it enough for you? Or have you just got into a habit of always using the same one, a bit like me? Always a good good principle to to follow with with exercise. If you always run the same route, shall I just take it a bit further? Shall I try and do it a bit faster? Or whatever. Easier said than done, I know. <laughs> Don't want to be preachy. So ten each side, then we'll go back and we'll whack in one last set of those abs. Okay, let's do it. If you've got time, if you need to shoot off, please do. Okay, so plank with dumbbell drag. Are we ready? Three, two, one, off you go. So most important thing with this is plank technique. If you feel that's falling by the wayside as you're pulling that weight through, then dips the weight. Don't let those hips creep up. Are you balancing something on that lower back? Figuratively speaking. Maybe literally. Three, two, one, and rest. Reverse crunch. So relax back, relax the arms by your side and Drive those feet, drive the soles of your feet up to the sky, gently curl back down. So you're activating, as you come back down, you're much more activating your lower abs, where as you push up, you're probably feeling yeah, that you're hitting more of your upper, which is typically where the crunch does, but you're not, you're not hurting your back and your neck in the same way as if I was asking you to do a load of sit-ups. As you will notice, I don't really do many of those. Okay, last few. Three, two, one. Excellent, and then side plank. Off you go. Let's hit those obliques. I'm glad, because we've done an extra bit that I didn't, wasn't sure if we'd be able to do or not. So you've worked really hard when you've done this set. Feel that lower, lower obliques. Good. Ten to go. Excellent. Change sides. Oh, uh, sorry. I've even written this down. Still forgotten to do. Day off next Monday. Uh, keep going with those side planks. Um, it's my, it's my birthday, it's a big one, Qu quarter century, <laughs> it's my birthday on Monday, so I'm considering not working, um, so I'm going to work out how to give you the, the class back, okay, and what to do about that, but I'm thinking I'm going to have a day off, three, two, one, okay, roll like a ball, so grab your ankles, curl up, hollow in those abs to start, chin in, off you go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm obviously, you know, I'm sure there are multiple, you know, treats in store for my day. Not, but yeah, just maybe going to take a breather that day. Keep going, rolling forward, back, come up before your head touches the floor, three, two, one, and rest, and then last two, so slow mountain climbers or heel reaches, either way, either one, 
okay you know the score with both hopefully off you go so slow mountain climbers or heel reaches support your neck reach down palm down straight arm towards the heel if you're doing those halfway in three two one change sides if you're still doing those slow mountain climbers amazing keep it going especially because your arms have had a bit of a going over i think last week i didn't do any core exercises that use your arms i was kind of saving your arms for that three two one and final exercise superman so let's just hit the lower back and glutes one last time in three two one off you go I think last week I must have been in a better mood because I definitely planned it thinking, oh, I won't make them do anything on their core that involves their arms because that'd be just horrible. Now really maximise the exercise by pausing. Don't rush. In three, let's all do one more for good luck. Ah, and relax. Just rock back onto your heels, child's pose. Deep breath. You've done it. If you feel like it's a bit imbalanced, I'm a bit of a sort of symmetry person if you feel like you need to do an ex extra set of those arms just to balance it out you can do that I said rock, rock forward into sphinx stretch the abs look up to the sky excellent once more back into child's pose sit back drive the arms down into the floor Push down and walk it forward one last time onto your either forearms or hands. Oh, that sounds nice. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Excellent. Well done. Glad to see so many of you.